My name's Eliza. If anyone has never taken a class with me before, this is going to be Pilates from 12 to 12.45. Um, I think we still have a couple more people coming in. Um, today we're going to be using three pound dumbbells or if you have some kind of like um, canned food item that you could use instead. If you'd rather not, you can totally do um, all these exercises without dumbbells and I'm going to demonstrate how to do them both with and without. Um, so just kind of pick whatever you're most comfortable with and we're going to go ahead and get started here in a minute. Um, okay. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and meet me here, we're going to go ahead and get started in a tabletop position. So you want to make sure that you have a nice straight line here between the wrists and the shoulders and the hips and the knees. And then just go ahead and start to take some deep breaths. So as we inhale, we're bringing it up to a cow position. Gaze is coming up towards the ceiling. Stomach is dropping down towards the mat. And exhale, push it into cat pose. Bringing the gaze to the tops of the thighs. And then as you do that, we're slowly shifting the weight forward into the palms. So you should feel a little bit of a shoulder stretch here. Inhale, bring it back up to that cow pose. And exhale, push it into cat. And you can go ahead and start to follow your own breath here. Taking this at your own pace. And as you do this, we're starting to tune into our Pilates breath. So you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling back out through the mouth. Again, you want to take this at your own pace, as fast or as slow as it feels comfortable for you. As you inhale, you're feeling that stretch in the lower back. And then as you exhale, you really want to start to squeeze that core. So you're warming up the abdominal muscles, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. And we're going to take just a couple more here. Forming up that spine, just kind of feeling it flow back and forth. And you can go ahead and take just one more in each position. And then when you're ready, we're bringing it back down to that neutral tabletop position. Again, finding that nice flat back. As you inhale, go ahead and extend out the right arm and the left leg. So we're coming into bird dog pose, flexing that foot, and exhale, bringing the elbow in to crunch towards the knee, drawing the knees down towards the back. Inhale, extend it back out, and exhale down to crunch. And again, you can go ahead and start to follow your own breath here. Inhaling to extend and exhaling down to crunch. Again, really feeling that engagement throughout the abdominal muscles. We're still warming up that spine and we're still warming up the core. We're just adding a little bit of glute engagement here so you should feel that squeeze in the glute as you extend that leg out. Go ahead and just take two more here. Take your knees at your own pace. And then as you exhale, go ahead and find your way back to that neutral tabletop position. We're going to repeat this on the opposite side. So from here, we're extending out the left arm and the right leg, or whichever side you're not just do. Exhale, down your punch. And inhale, bring it back out. Again, taking this at your own pace and following your own breath. Really pulling that belly button in towards the spine, lengthening out those muscles. In through the nose, head back out through the mouth. Good, we're taking one more here. And when you're ready, we're slowly bringing it back down to that neutral tabletop. Tucking those toes under and pushing it back into a downward dog. You can take a moment here to pedal those feet out, pressing the heels down towards the mat and really doing your best to press the head back between those arms so you're stretching out the shoulders. 
And then as you inhale, we're slowly bringing it up to a high plank position. Again, stacking the wrists right underneath those shoulders. Exhale, push it back. Got her top. And inhale, bring it back up. So you're kind of flowing back and forth here. Again, going at your own pace. Really emphasizing that engagement throughout the core. Getting it nice and warm before we get into our first core section. Feeling that squeeze in the glutes as well. You can go ahead and take two more here. Really bringing those heels as close to the mat as you can. We're taking one more. And then on your next inhale, we're pulling it up to that high plank position. You can hold it here for just two more breaths. Really squeezing that core. Drop those knees down if you need to. And then you can go ahead and exhale. Drop those knees down and sink it back into your child's pose. Just taking a couple deep breaths here. You can feel free to bring the forehead down to the mat. Closing those eyes. Just taking a couple deep breaths here. Getting ready for the rest of our class. If you want to, you can feel free to set an intention. I'm gonna switch up the music here. For those of you who are a little bit newer to Pilates today, the way this class is formatted is by muscle group. So we're gonna get started with core, then move into glutes, and then we'll finish it off with arms. So when you're ready, go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Pull yourself up to that neutral tabletop and then swing it on around so you're on your back. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our first core section here. Like I said earlier, all of these exercises can be done with or without weights, so if that's not something you have access to today, that's totally fine. Um, just do whatever is gonna be most comfortable for you. We're gonna go ahead and get started here with some jackknife curls. So as you exhale, go ahead and bring it down to the mat, reaching up over that head with those arms. As you exhale, we're crunching it up, bringing just one leg up with us. Inhale, bring it back down. Exhale, up to crunch. So you're really feeling it throughout that entire abdominal section. If you want to, you can grab those weights and use them with you. Just add a little bit of resistance. We're gonna be doing all these for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna go ahead and get started here in three, two, and one. Taking these at your own pace, one leg at a time. Keeping it super, super slow and controlled. Just making sure you have a nice gap here between the chin and the chest. Keeping that gaze up at the ceiling the whole time. You can feel free to keep a slight bend in that knee if you need to. Good. You guys are doing great. Keep breathing through it. We're over halfway through. Couple more deep breaths here. If you want an extra challenge, you can try to keep those hands and those shoulder blades off of the mat the entire time just so you have a little extra engagement throughout that core. We're coming into the last 10 seconds. Keep breathing it out. In through the nose, back out through the mouth. And in three. Two, and one. You can go ahead and roll it on back. Take a couple deep breaths here, bringing those arms up above the head. Our next exercise is going to be roll-ups. You can just kind of watch me here for a moment. For exhaling, to roll it up super, super slow and controlled. You want to bring it so you have a nice 90 degree angle in the body here. Keeping those weights in your hands if you want them for that extra resistance. Inhaling to roll it back down. Again, if you don't have weights, no problem. Just keeping those arms nice and straight up above the head. Those legs are straight out in front of you. We're going to go ahead and get started here. In three, two, one. Rolling it down. Grabbing those weights if you want to use them. Making sure you're using the power of your core to lift yourself up. Instead of the momentum from your arms, that's super, super important here. You should be feeling it in the lower core. Your form is definitely more important than how many reps you do, so just keep that in mind. 
You want to deepen out that breath and elongate that spine as you reach the arms up and behind you. Taking this super, super slow. The slower you roll up, the more it's going to work that course. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to up the music a little bit. I hope that doesn't cover up my voice any. You guys are over halfway through. Keep it up. Deepen out that breath. Exhaling as you roll it up. And then use that inhale as you rest, as you bring it back down. We're coming into the last 10 seconds here. In four, three, two, and one. You can slowly roll it back. Maybe bring those knees into the chest here, give them a quick hug. And we're slowly rolling it on up. We're gonna work the obliques a little bit next by coming into some Russian twists. So if you want to, you can feel free to keep those heels planted nice and firm on the mat. You can grab a weight or two if you want. We're just bringing the hands from side to side, getting that full rotation here throughout the core, making sure you bring your chest and your gaze with you to whichever side you are. So we're keeping that nice spinal alignment. Getting started here in four, three, two, and one. Again, keeping this nice and controlled, going at your own pace. If you want that extra challenge, you can lift those heels up off of the mat. Good, continuing to breathe it out here. Leaning back as far as you can. So far the back you lean, the more it's gonna work that course. Let's keep that in mind. It is just starting to hurt a little bit. You want to take it down a notch. Just crunch it up a little bit more so you're not leaning back as far. And that should take away some of that resistance for you. You guys are over halfway through. Y'all are killing it. We only have one more exercise, then we're going to move it on to glutes. So keep pushing it out the best you can. Good. Last 10 seconds here. And in four, three, two, and one. If you have those heels lifted, go ahead and bring them back down to the mat. Planting those feet nice and firm into the mat here, keeping those knees nice and bent. You can go ahead and just take a couple deep breaths here. Maybe grab some water if you need it. We have just one last exercise before we're going to move on. I'm ready to come into some toe taps. So if you want to, you can feel free to create a little triangle shape with those hands and place them underneath small of your back. We're lifting those legs up so you think your knees have a nice 90 degree angle in them. Those feet are nice and flexed. One at a time, we're bringing those toes down just to tap the back. Super, super important here to keep that constant engagement in the lower core to get the most out of this exercise. We're going to go ahead and get started in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and take this at your own pace. If you want that extra challenge, you can bring your toes or both of your feet down at the same time and tap all 10 toes down if you really want to burn out that core a little bit more effectively. But again, it's totally up to you. You do whatever is going to feel best. Good. Making sure we're keeping that lower back pressed down on the mat the whole time. Bring your hands underneath for a little extra support if that's going to feel better for you. Keeping those shoulder blades down. And again, this is nice and controlled. Really pulling that belly button into the spine here. You want to feel that engagement throughout the lower core. That's what we aim to be working here. We're over halfway done. You guys are doing awesome. Keep breathing it out. Coming into the last 10 seconds here. Gaze is up at the ceiling, and in four, three, two, and one. You can go ahead and bring those feet down, stretching those legs out, coming to a full body stretch here. Just taking a deep breath, reaching those arms up over your head. You guys did awesome with that. You should be so proud of yourself. We have one section down, two more to go. You can go ahead and bring it on up. Maybe grab some water if you need it. 
and we're going to start to move into glutes. So with glutes, we're going to do it a little bit differently than how we did core. We're going to do two exercises, both on the same leg, and pulse those both out, and then um, switch over to the other leg, just so we're burning those muscles out a little bit more effectively. So for these, we're going to go ahead and get started in that neutral tabletop position. You can meet me here whenever you're ready. Take your time getting here. If at any point your wrist starts to hurt, you can um, just ball up your hands into little fists and rest your weight on those instead. Um, if your mat doesn't have great wrist support or you know whatever, you can feel free to do that. So on our first leg, we're gonna go ahead and get started first with some donkey kicks. So you're taking one leg, picking it up, nice 90 degree angle in that knee, bringing it back down, and then picking it up. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. The last 10 seconds is gonna be a pulse up here at the top, just a couple inches up and down. And then straight from those without a break, we're extending the leg out, bringing it to one side of the mat, kicking it up and over to the other side of the mat, and coming into rainbows. Again, that'll be for 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds is just a pulse up and down with that straight leg out in the back. I know it sounds a little bit confusing. I'm gonna cue you through the whole thing so you'll know exactly what you're supposed to be doing when. You guys are gonna do great, you got it. Go ahead and find your way to that neutral tabletop. We're getting started with those donkey kicks here in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, pick one leg and start to kick it up. Super, super important here, you're keeping that nice 90 degree bend in the leg. Gaze is up in between those hands. So we're not letting that head hang. You should not be looking at your thighs here. Keeping that nice spinal alignment. Pointing or flexing that foot. If you want that extra challenge, you can keep the knee from touching the mat the whole time. So you're going straight from one rep to the next. Again, following your own breath. In through the nose, back out through the mouth. That core is nice and engaged the whole time. Awesome job, you guys. We're coming into our first pulse here. In four. Three, two, and one. Holding that foot up at the top. Okay, starting to pulse that leg up and down just a couple inches. Remember to point or flex that foot. Good, I know it's starting to burn. I'm right here with you guys are doing great. We're coming into those rainbows here in four, three, two, and one, straightening that leg out, bring it to one side of the mat. We're kicking it up and over. Again, remembering to keep a nice flat back here as best as you can. Taking that leg up as high as you can get it. You want to feel that pinch in the lower portion of the glute. Maybe starting to feel that burn in the resting glute as well. I know I feel it. Good, really trying to create a wide range here in that kick. You really want to bring that leg up and over as fast as you can. We're almost done on this side. Keep it up, we're coming to that pulse in four, three, two, one. Hold that leg straight behind you. Start to pulse it up and down. Again, pointing or flexing that foot. It's up to you, you wanna keep a slight bend in those elbows as well. Making sure we aren't blocking those out as we start to get tired. And in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that knee down. You can sink it back into your child's pose. Just take a couple deep breaths here. You guys did a great job with that side. You should all be so proud of yourselves. We're almost halfway through class. Y'all are killing it. Keep up the good work. Grab some water if you need it. We're taking one more deep breath here. And when you're ready, we're slowly inhaling to pull it back up into that neutral tabletop. Same exact thing here. We're just repeating it on the opposite leg. So we're going straight from donkey kicks back into those rainbows. Go ahead and get ready. Maybe taking a second to check out that form again, making sure you have a nice flat back. We're gonna get started in four, three, two, and one. Whichever leg you do not just work, we're coming into those donkey kicks here. 
Good, getting started if you haven't already. Making sure you're keeping that nice 90 degree bend you need the whole time. Keeping that back as flat as you can. Keeping that gaze up at the top of the mat or in between those hands. I know you're starting to get tired. It's really tempting to let that head fall, but try not to. Deepening out that breath and using it to help you power through. Nice deep inhales through the nose. Push that breath back out through the mouth. If you need to, you can feel free to slow this down. Take it at your own pace. Maybe rest the knee down on the mat for an extra breath if you need to. Really make this your own workout. You know your body better than I do. So you do whatever's going to feel best. We're coming into that first pulse here in four, three, two, and one. Holding that leg up at the top. Start to pulse it out. We're just going to be here for 10 seconds. Keeping that leg nice and strong. Pointing or flexing that foot. You guys got it. Keep it up. We're straightening it out. Coming into those rainbows. In four, three, two, and one. Straighten that leg out. Bring it to one side, kicking it up and over. No rest here. We're really going to burn this muscle out. Go ahead and get started as soon as you're ready. Doing your best to kick it up as high as you can. Slip bend in those elbows. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. You all are so strong. We're almost done here. Last exercise on this leg. Last exercise in this circuit. Remember why you brought yourselves here today. You all are so strong. You got it. We're going to come into that pulse in four, three, two, and one. Straighten that leg out right behind you. Quick little pulses up and down. Bring up that pace. Good. Super, super slow. Should start to feel that burn in the bottom portion of the glute. If you haven't already, squeezing that core, using it to keep you nice and stabilized. And in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that knee down. You can think it back into another wide legged child's pose. Bringing those knees out to opposite as you do not. Stretching those arms up straight ahead of you. We have one more glute circuit, and then we're going to move on to arms. So when you're ready, you can feel free to grab some water, you know, take a breath, whatever you've got to do. We're going to get started here in that circuit on our back. So you can take your time, flip over, get situated. We're going to go ahead and bring it to a bridge pose. So you can meet me here whenever you're ready. We're placing those palms nice and firm down on the mat, using those heels to push the hips up. So we're coming into a nice bridge pose here, feeling that squeeze in the glutes. You're going to pick one leg to start with. We're lifting that leg up and then placing it back down on the mat. So if you're lifting up that left leg, the weight should be shifted into the right heel, making sure the weight is not in those toes. And we're just lifting and lowering. Then we'll bring it up to a 10 second pulse. So 30 seconds on, 10 second pulse, straight from there. We're keeping the hips nice and firm here, bringing that leg back down, and then just bringing it to a traditional bridge pose. So you're bringing the hips down to the mat and then lifting them up, squeezing with both legs equally. So we'll do this twice and then switch off the leg. Go ahead and pick one leg to start with. We're going to go ahead and get started in four, three, two, and one. So picking one leg and lifting it up and bringing it back down. Just tapping the toe on the mat, shifting the weight into the opposite heel. So you should really start to feel it in that resting leg. Keeping the body nice and stabilized here. Using that core to help guide you. We're only here for 30 seconds. You guys can do it. I promise. Really use those palms to help you out. Pressing them into the mat. Using those triceps to lift you up. 
Sixteen. Awesome job. You guys are over halfway done. Keep it up. Breathing it out, gaze is up at the ceiling, shoulders are pressed into the mat. We're pulsing it out here in four, three, two, and one. Keeping that leg up, bringing the glutes up and down, tiny little pulses. This can be as big or as small a movement as you want to make it. Just 10 seconds. You guys got it. I know it's starting to burn. In four. Three, two, and one. You can go ahead and bring that foot down. We're coming straight into that next exercise. Glutes are coming down briefly and we're pushing them straight back up. Using both of your legs here. Good. If you want that extra challenge, you can pick up that same leg and bring your glutes up and down with it. Again, you shift that weight into the opposite heel. No pressure, I know that's a lot. Your legs and your glutes are already burning, but if you do wanna kick it up a notch, you can feel free to take that option. Just 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna move it on to the other leg. Keep breathing it out. It's really lifting those, yeah, those hips up as much as you can, making sure the weight is still shifted in those heels. Good. If you want to, you can grab a weight and place it right above that pelvic bone. If you want a little extra resistance, we're coming into our second pulse here in four, three, two, and one. Holding it at the top, a little catch and release. You should start to really feel it in the bottom of those glutes. Good, keeping those hips lifted. I know it's really starting to burn. We're almost done here. In four, three, two, and one. Bring those glutes down to the mat. Awesome job, you guys. We're taking a quick breather here before we switch it over to the opposite side. So you can feel free to bring those knees into the chest if that's going to feel better for you. Okay, maybe roll back and forth on the mat. Just massage off the spine a little bit. You guys did great with those. I know it hurts. I know it's really hard. I know you're starting to burn. We're over halfway through class. You guys are doing an amazing job. Last circuit here, and then we're moving on to arms. You can go ahead, make your way back. See that bridge pose, planting those feet nice and firm on the mat. We're slowly lifting those hips back up, planting those arms on the ground. Whichever leg, you did not just lift on the last circuit. We're gonna go ahead and work that leg now. Getting started in four, three, two, and one. So we're lifting that leg up, just gently tapping that toe back on the ground. Really taking your time here. Super slow and controlled movement. Shifting that weight into the opposite heel. If you need to drop your hips a little bit, that's totally fine. You do whatever is gonna feel best for you as long as you're feeling that engagement throughout the glitz, that's all that matters. So however you choose to get that is totally up to you. Really using those arms for support, pressing those palms down. Good, we're coming into our first pulse here. In four, three, two, and one. Lifting that leg up. Hips are coming up and down just a couple inches. I know this is really starting to burn. Last 10 seconds here. Good. In four, three, two, and one. Placing that foot down on the mat. We're bringing those hips down and back up, getting straight into that second exercise. You guys can do it. Last one here, last 40 seconds. If you want to, you can bring it to that one-legged glute bridge. If you want to lift that leg up, if not, totally fine. I don't blame you at all. So you guys are over halfway through, keep it up. Awesome job, we're coming into our last pulse here. In four, three, 
two, and a one, keeping those legs or those hips up at the top, squeezing those glutes, quick catch and release. Pick up the pace just a little bit if you haven't already. You really want to start to feel that burn. Awesome job. In four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower those glutes down. Bring those knees into the chest. Give them a little hug. If you want to, you can feel free to bring it to happy baby. Just stretch out those inner thighs a little bit. And those hip flexors. Good, just take a couple of deep breaths here. Tune back in, stop Pilates breath in case you've lost it. Nice deep breath in through the nose and back out through the mouth. Grab some water if you need it. I know that was tough, you guys did awesome. We have 15 more minutes of class, one last section, then we're gonna cool it down. You guys can do it, I know you can. Our last section is gonna be arms. We are gonna be standing for all of these. So you go ahead and meet me up in standing position whenever you're ready. Grabbing those dumbbells if you have them. Again, if you don't have them, that's totally fine. I'm going to demonstrate how to do them both with and without, so you're set either way. So you can go ahead and find your way up into a standing position whenever you're ready. We're going to get started with an elevated bicep curl, so I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. You want to bring those arms up straight so you have a nice 90 degree angle here. We're exhaling to bring the hands aim to tap the shoulders, inhaling to extend them out. If you don't have a weight, that's totally fine. Same exact movement here. As long as you have that nice engagement in the bicep, you'll get the same workout. We're gonna go ahead and get started here, wherever you are, in four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and get started. Really feeling that resistance, you're gonna to wanna to drop those arms. Try not to, I know it's really tempting, but we're almost done here, you guys have done an amazing job so far, keeping this nice and slow and controlled. You wanna have two parallel lines between the elbows here. So the elbows are not coming in towards each other, they're not going out towards the sides. They're nice and straight and parallel. Taking this at your own pace, exhaling as you extend it out. Inhaling to pull it back in. Same thing here, we're doing 30 seconds with a 10 second pull at the end. Good, nice firm stance here. Feet are about hip width apart. Nice posture. We're gonna come into our first pulse here. In four, three, two, and one. Extend those arms out and start to pulse it here. Again, just a couple inches up and down. Really try to keep that flat back, especially as soon as you start to get tired, you're gonna to wanna to arch the back and put that resistance in the lower back. Try your best not to, you guys are strong. I know you can do it. And in four, three, two, and one. You can go ahead and drop those arms down. Give me a couple shoulder rolls here. Shake it out if you need to. We're gonna work the shoulders a little bit next. So you can take a couple deep breaths, just kind of watch what I'm doing here. You're gonna bring both of the palms together and both of the elbows together. So again, we have a nice 90 degree angle here. You wanna keep these as elevated as you can. As you exhale, we're lifting those elbows up. Inhale, bring them back down to 90 degrees. So the most important thing here is to make sure your palms and your elbows are glued together the whole time. If you need to, feel free to drop it down and just use one weight. And again, if you don't have any weights, I promise you'll still feel it if you're doing this without any equipment. Maybe lacing those fingers together and following the same exact movements. We're gonna go ahead and get started here, whichever variation of that you want to go with. In four, three, two, and one, bringing those arms up nice and parallel with the mat. Good, we have that nice firm stance here. If you're facing the camera, it should be hard to see through those arms. They should be blocking your view right in front of those eyes. Good, if you need to, you can feel free to turn to the side just to kind of check out your form in the camera. 
If I were teaching in a studio, I would usually tell my participants to look at themselves in the mirror from the side view just to kind of check out their form. Good, you're over halfway through. If you're using two weights, you can feel free to drop one of them or both of them at any point in time, but you need to. This is a really hard one, so I don't blame you if that's something you choose to do. We're coming into that pulse here in four, three, two, and one. Keeping it up here at the top, start to pulse it out. This is gonna start to burn. You guys got it, really feeling it in those shoulders. Keep that nice flat back. And in four, three, two, and one. You can drop it down, take a couple more shoulder rolls. Good, you guys are doing a great job. I know I'm working you hard, we only have 10 minutes left. You can do it, I promise. Okay, we're gonna come into sort of the platter next, so feel free to grab some water, take a breath, whatever you need to do. This is another one I would recommend turning to the side for, just so you can kind of see what you're doing. You wanna keep those elbows glued to the side the entire time. As you exhale, you're extending those arms out straight in front of you, keeping a nice slight bend in the elbow. Inhale to bring them back to the sides. Really important here, you're not bringing the elbows super far behind you. You're just bringing them back down to the sides, gluing them back to the sides, and then extending them back out. So really taking this at your own pace here. We're gonna go ahead and get started in four, three, two, and one. Again, turning to the side if you think that might benefit you. Again, you wanna make two parallel lines with this hand. So as you reach out, we're gonna do it in a nice and straight line. Feeling a little bit of a muscle contraction in that chest, in the bicep, and in the shoulders as well. That core is nice and engaged. Side gaze is straight ahead. You can keep a slight bend in those knees. Good, you guys are over halfway through. Keep breathing it out. Nice firm stance. We're coming into that pulse in four, three, two, and one. Extend those arms out straight. Find that elevated bicep curl. 10 seconds for pulsing it here. Really use your core to your advantage. Engage it. Use it to keep you nice and stabilized. And in four, three, two, and one, drop it down. Give me a couple more shoulder rolls here. We're gonna do one or two more exercises then we're gonna start to pull it down. So the end is near, you guys almost made it. We're gonna work the triceps next. So if you return to the side for sort of the platter, go ahead and find your way there again. We're gonna bring it to a mini squat. So you wanna have a nice bend in those knees. Feet again are not hip width apart. The elbows are glued to your sides like we did with sort of the platter. But this time we're kicking the arms back behind us and then inhaling to bring the back out. So exhale to extend it, inhale to bring it back. You can tap those shoulders up at the top if you want. Keeping this nice and slow and controlled. Again, you want to keep the elbow glued to the sides as much as you can. Keeping it really nice and controlled. The weight is shifted back in those heels. We're going to go ahead and get started here in four, three, two, and one. Again, taking this at your own pace. And hinging forward at the hips. If you want a little bit more resistance, just hinge a little farther. Making sure, again, we're not putting that resistance in the lower back. If you want a little bit less resistance, you can stand up just a little bit straighter. And I'll take away some of that resistance for you. So again, keeping that in mind, you do whatever is gonna feel best for you. Keeping that gaze straight ahead at the top of your mat. Awesome job. I know you're getting tired. I know you want to hang that head down. Try not to let it. Keep that gaze straight ahead of you. You're over halfway done. And in four, three, two, we're coming into that pulse. And one, go ahead, extend those arms out. Palms come to face the ceiling. Squeeze that core. Good. Ten seconds. Pick up the pace. And in four, three, two, 
and one. You can go ahead and stand it up. Take a couple shoulder rolls here. Awesome job. You guys did amazing with that. You can go ahead and drop those weights down. We're gonna bring it to our cool down. So go ahead and bring it back to that standing position. We're just gonna take a couple more shoulder rolls here. And bring it forward. Good, we just kinda wanna get out any lactic acid that might be building up in those muscles. Bring us some wind rolls here. Just draw some circles in the air with those arms. As big or as small as you wanna make them. And you can go ahead and switch direction. Good, go ahead and take two more there. Start to catch your breath. I'm gonna change the music real quick. And we're gonna start to cool it down. You guys did an amazing job. You should be so proud of yourself. That was not an easy workout, but you guys killed it. Go ahead, take a deep breath here. Inhale those arms up over the head. And as you exhale, bring it to a forward fold. Give yourself a slight bend in those knees if you need it. Making sure you're keeping that gaze straight ahead of you here, not letting that head hang. Feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and a little, a little bit in the lower back as well. And when you're ready, we're walking those hands out until we're coming into that high plank. And then we're pushing it back to that downward dog. When you're ready, go ahead, inhale that right foot up into three-legged dog. Step it up to the outside of that right hand. Bring it to lizard pose. You can go ahead and untuck that toe. Again, just taking a couple deep breaths here. Slowing down that heart rate. Nice deep breath in through the nose and back out through the mouth. Coming back in tune with that pattern of breath just in case you lost it. Feeling that stretch throughout the inner thigh, a little bit in the hip flexor as well. And we're slowly walking that foot over to the opposite hand bringing that knee with you, and we're sinking it down to pigeon. Feeling that stretch in the hip flexor, if you want to deepen this out, you can feel free to bring it down to the forearms. Maybe bringing the forehead down to rest on the thumbs. Maybe the thumbs to massage the flat forehead out. Good, we're just taking two more deep breaths here. Still working on deepening out that breath. Trying to slow it down. And on your next exhale, you can go ahead and plant those hands on the mat. Check that toe under, push it back to his downward dog. We're taking two deep breaths here just to really focus on walking those feet out, pressing the heels down towards the mat and stretching out those hamstrings. And then when you're ready, we're inhaling the left foot up into three-legged dog. Stepping into the outside of that left hand, and again, dropping that knee, or tucking the back toe, coming back into lizard. Taking just two easy breaths here, going at your own pace. Feeling the air flowing in and out of the lungs. And as you exhale, we're walking that foot over to the opposite hand and dropping it down into pigeon. Again, you can deepen it out. Drop it down to your arms if you want to. And as you exhale again, we're pressing it back in the downward dog one more time. Walking those feet out. Nice deep breath in through the nose. And this time as you exhale, you can drop those knees down. Finding your way to a seated position, however you choose to get there. Take a nice deep breath. Bring those arms up over the head. And as you exhale, we're coming to a spinal twist. So that right hand is gonna to come to the outside of the left knee. 
gazes over that back shoulder. Nice deep breath here. And inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, bring it down to the other side. Really feeling that twist in the torso, feeling that stretch in the lower back. And inhale, bring it up one more time. We're gonna keep the arms up here. Go ahead and close your eyes. We're just taking a few deep breaths to get into a nice positive mindset for the rest of the day. Just take a moment here and thank yourselves for coming today. I know this is not how you're used to taking group X classes. So it's really awesome that you decided to come today. Give your body a nice workout. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Just remember here that you are always appreciated. You are always loved and you are always enough. And as you exhale, you can go ahead and clap it down. This is then Pilates. From 12 to 12.45, my name's Eliza. Thank you again for coming. I know this is not exactly what you're used to, but you guys did a great job. Um, and I'm so proud of you. If you liked this class, I'm teaching it again next Thursday. So you can feel free to join me then.